Hey y'all, it's nice to see you again. We're back playing Bloodborne. Welcome to the neighborhood. Welcome to, mm -hmm. welcome to the neighborhood, friends. Today we're gonna be playing some Bloodborne. <laughs> I hope to make some buddies. Oh, that's just their way of saying hello. <laughs> you see native people all across the land, all the different customs and formalities that they like to use. Sometimes violence is just a greeting. That's right. In this particular culture, hitting somebody in the face with the, with the stick is just a way of saying howdy. <laughs> Did you know that I used to serve in the army and I think I, I read somewhere that I had post-traumatic stress disorder and that's why I settled down in this calm little show? Did you know there was a lot of shows around at, around the time that I was doing my show that were soldiers with PTSD? Did you know that that guy that painted little pictures of bushes also had PTSD? Oh, Bob Ross? Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> man. I guess seen some stuff, man. Not all of it bushes. Well, I mean, it might have been from Bucky. I'm going to paint a happy little bush right yeah, over here bush with your right organs. Over there. Um, oh, 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 man, it's a Zoid. Hey, hey how you doing, Zoid? <laughs> hey, Bit Cloud, how you doing? Bit Cloud, who was voiced by Richard Ian Cox and also looked like blonde in a Yasha with short hair. <laughs> there was no... I guess that really wasn't a joke. It was just more of a statement. <laughs> that was, yeah, there was, was no punchline. Pointing out a connection. <laughs> Why are you using the torch if you have the lantern? Because this gives off more light. Uh, yeah, the lantern's hands off, but it gives off less light. And as long as I know where my enemy is, I can kill him. Um, because with these promises broken deep below, um, each word got lost in the echo. Okay, I thought you were going this, there. This, <laughs> this is the last time I can. See through this time I finally let you, let go. you go. I think uh, I got a lot of those words. You combined wrong. a couple. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. But <laughs> I, I was uh, very you pointed aware. Out, so. <laughs> I was aware. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, I dreamed I was sleeping and or I was missing. You dreamed a dream? Yeah, I dreamed I was missing and you were so scared. But, you know, no one would listen because... No one else really cared that I was missing. No, I was missing. Oh, <laughs> and no, you were so scared. Oh, but, but no one would listen because no one else cared. That's not very nice. And then after my dreaming, I woke with this fear that, uh, I mean, what what am I leaving when I'm done here? Um. So. Um. If you're if I'm asking you. Yeah. If, <laughs> if, if you're asking me, I want you to know that <laughs> when my time comes, forget the wrong that I've done. And help me to leave behind some reason to be missed. Don't resent me. And when you're feeling empty, please keep me in your memory. Leave out all the rest. What, like all my other memories? Yeah, like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I have no positive memories of you, so... <laughs> no, I just meant like all of my other memories. Like, oh, oh, hey! Oh, wow, spooky. I dreamed I was missing. That's a good song. You like were song. so scared, but no one would listen. Wait, isn't this the place you went to with the thing and the incense and you were like, why the but No. Oh man. I am all topsy turvy here. Yeah, you are. Wow, you just can't hit shit. Correct. <laughs> I was really scared you were gonna prove me wrong with that attack, but you didn't. You. Absolutely vile of him. Absolutely flawless. Oh god. What? That was terrifying. <laughs> what, my yell? Yeah. <laughs> Why was that terrifying? Your war cry. If you were walking in an alley and someone jumped out and made that sound, would you not be scared? <laughs> I'd be like, get away, Bruce Lee. <laughs> so that's just a shortcut. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, I heard there's tons and tons and tons of shortcuts in this game. And then it's one like door that goes nowhere. Um, It's uh, like it's like Dark Souls 1. Mm. It's like you know, everything's a web. Mm -hmm. Which is good, because that was good. Yeah, I like that's that. what is, I like Dark Souls 2, but that's one thing Dark Souls 2 really missed. Here, teleport wherever you want. I mean, I'm not against that. It's just the fact that they had to make that an option is indicative of another problem, which was... Oh! 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 Another problem, which was that the maps didn't quite, uh, <laughs> they didn't connect properly, so they had to make a shortcut via travel. <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, had an episode. 
<laughs> That's that PTSD acting up. <laughs> Ooh, golly. Oh, no, it's... That was a... You know what show I missed from when I was a kid? Mr. Dress Up. Yeah. That dude you know, was kind of awesome. Oh, you want to know something sad? Hmm. Yeah. Um, about how he had to quit. Um, when they ended his show, they because it was for young kids, they didn't want to have an ending because the finale was pointless with children of that age. Yeah. So they wanted it to basically function in a way that the last episode could loop right around to the first. So they told Mr. Dress Up, like, in the last episode of your show, we want you to just, you know, wave, say, till next time, and then say goodbye like always. And he did, but apparently he was really sad because he said that he shared a lot of, like, meaningful moments with, mm -hmm. uh, like, the kids and loved entertaining them, and it meant a lot that he did the show. And apparently it really hurt him that he never got to say goodbye and that he just kind of became a mechanical thing that yeah, would he just spin became around. Yeah, he just a function. Um, and I'm like, that's so I sad. heard when he died, they buried him in the tickle trunk. <sighs> you better not be lying about that, that's because the... if you're lying about that, I'm going to punch you for making the worst joke. No, like, that's, that's, that's legitimately what I heard. And I, I think that's kind of cool. All right, Aaron, uh, how do you think this, this, this fight works? There's a person upstairs. You got to go beat her up. No. Nope. Uh, oh. <laughs> Where are you? Bro? I just remember that. Friggity fracking uh, my, my friend Chris, who was playing this, Aha! kept getting turbo shrekt and he didn't know what to do. And then she's got like a grab move that just messes you up. All right. And then every time you hurt her, she summons more. Or like as time goes on, she summons more and more of these things. Yeah. But she's, um, she's just invisible. That's her deal. You don't have to kill these. In fact, they aren't that aggressive. Um, actually, I'm not going to kill them because I don't even get... There we go. What I like to do is knock her down and visceral her. Oh, it's really easy to hit her in the back. Then she still can be hit. But this fight is super easy. But at the same time, it's a weird kind of... Um, kind of like... It's got layers. It's a very mechanical, once you figured out the function, you got it kind of fight. But the, the Visceral did no damage. Uh, yeah, it's weird that way. She's also going to summon another witch at some point. Yeah. Uh, don't they become common enemies later on? Yeah, uh, well, there's a version of them that's common. This might do it. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. How can you be the Witch of Hemwick if there's another one? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. That would be a Witch of Hemwick. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, fuck. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 Ow. Stop that, please. Bum, bum. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, I... that's a damage. <laughs> she found one of her own things. I don't know what to call those. Dryads? Yeah. Spooky, scary skeletons? Uh, spookies. They're getting bigger, too, aren't they're, they? No, they aren't. They look like they're bigger. They're not bigger. Hmm. <laughs> oh. I just wasn't paying attention bum, to them before. Bum, 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 Ow! Wait, how come there's three? The other witch is healing? Bum, bum, bum. Ba -dun 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 -ba -dun. Hey, die. Da da dum, dum, dum. <laughs> dum, 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 da dum. Oh. Yeah, you gotta kill them like within a certain amount of time of each other. Here we go. This should do it. There we go, and... Now, <laughs> you had to give that one a attack. Alright, now we should be nearly at time, I imagine. We're getting there. Yep. Uh, a whole lot of, like, 12 woo. seconds. How much? <laughs> like a whole 12, 14 seconds. Here we go, then. This is what we came here for, ultimately. Our friend in prison? Well, hello there, neighbor. Oh man, that's kind of...
That's pretty brutal. Now the question is, what was the witch doing? Or what did you need to know? I'm sorry, my friend. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 ba -dum. And another one bites, and another one bites, and another one bites the dust. Hey, I'm gonna get you too. See you next time, guys. Ow!